So one of the things we want to do when we're going to build something from scratch is it really helps to have something to model it after. And uh, so one of the things we can do, we know that this has a Snapdragon 410 processor. And we know that there's lots of phones out there that have a Snapdragon 410 processor. So if you're doing something similar, you can just insert the name of your own processor here. But an easy way to search is go ahead and hit uh, DuckDuckGo or Google or something and say Snapdragon uh, 410 phones. And right away we get some lists with uh, the different versions of the Snapdragon uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon phones. And so this uh, Kimoville uh, has been pretty handy for me in the past. You can open those up and see uh, different examples of smartphones that uh, utilize the same uh, chipset that you have. And what's really great is then you can go through and look at all of these and see, hey, has somebody built something for these already? And will that help me uh, to build what I want to build? Now, in my case, I actually, since I couldn't find a Team Win Recovery project, I ended up uh, finding one that was built specifically for this phone. I ended up finding the uh, U Unique. Now, it is not anywhere near the exact same phone, but it has the same processor. And with a little bit of editing, I was able to flash its Team Win Recovery project to the phone. So I know that its tree at least would be basic enough at its basic level to make the phone function for Team Win Recovery project. Although not everything works quite right, so a little bit more editing is required. Um, but uh, hopefully, actually, I can grab a screenshot of that real quick just to show you. And it's on the phone, and it says that it's you know a, it says the phone is a U unique, even though it actually is is not. So um, actually, I think if I look here at my devices and I look at USB, well, it's not inserted here properly. Let me check real quick if I can dump that in here. And there you can just see a uh, quick screenshot of it, or a picture that I took of the phone there. Um, RO product name uh, Unique, and it thinks it's this uh, um, YU Unique phone. And so, um, you know, this, uh, this in and of itself means that we have a high chance of success for building team and recovery project because we definitely could use something like the U unique phone and its uh, processor which is the same which you can find on lists like like this um, and and utilize that but I found another phone by going through a list like these and uh, that phone that I found was actually the uh, Wico MSM 8916 or um, it has a it has another name, the Wico Ridge 4G, and so that version, the L5510, there, um, it is identical to the phone that we have here, which is a really big plus, um, or at least it appears to be identical from the outside. It physically looks the same. It has the same screen, uh, well, a slightly different screen size but uh, same screen pixels, same uh, camera um, megapixel, not necessarily the same camera, but the same camera megapixel, the same amount of RAM, the same processor, and uh, you know um, the same size of battery. So it looks like it's really close to the same thing. Uh, when this came out, it had uh, KitKat on it, 4.4, but uh, some people have upgraded through various versions of it already. And so I just brought that up on GitHub, and that's going to give us a few things to work from. And of course, I downloaded those, and, and we're going to be able to use those hopefully to build what we're uh, what we're trying to uh, model after. So it's just really great if you can look around, find something that at least has the same system on a chip, if not really really close to the same specifications you have, same uh, at least the same version of Android was built for it, if not was made the same. Uh, and then, uh, and then you can utilize that as your, essentially as your guide while you're building your uh, team win recovery project or your custom ROM from scratch. It just really, really helps instead of having to reinvent the wheel to go ahead and borrow from something that uh, is very, very similar. So we're going to be doing that, and uh, I just wanted to show you kind of how I went through that process, how I found what I was looking for, and uh, what uh, what it is that we can now um, work with. So 
looking forward to uh, to jumping into that uh, pretty soon.